Hey guys, decluttering your surroundings is one of the best things that you can do for your life. It'll reduce stress, you'll have more time to do the things that you want to and that you need to do. So I'm gonna show you how to declutter your surroundings in three easy steps. Let's get started. Hey guys, my name is Jesse Scalante from Design Your Lifestyle Online and welcome to another segment of Midweek Mindset. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe and hit the notification tab so you can get more video and content like this. So let's get started. Step number one, decluttering your workspace. This can be your computer, this could be your phone, this could be your work area. If you looked at your workspace right now, your table, your desk, is there water bottles lying around? I'll tell you this because it's always been me. Make sure to wipe down and clean your desk on a daily basis. The night before, make sure to prepare everything for the next day and it will save you a whole lot of time. Reconsider getting more organized. This is gonna declutter all your extra mail, all your extra papers, anything that's on top of your desk that shouldn't belong there and makes it difficult for you to find other important things. The fewer things that you have in your work area, the easier it's gonna be to find and to work in that workspace. So you got your workspace a little bit cleaner. Now, your computer and your phone. Your computer has so many things. I think I remember I was just on my laptop a couple days ago and I realized all the images that I had downloaded, all the things that I had downloaded from the internet, whether it was images or just files. Those things accumulate and it makes it very, very difficult to stay organized. By becoming organized, not only does it make it easier to find all these things in your laptop and your computer, but also it will allow your computer to work at a faster speed knowing that all that clutterment in your laptop or your computer is slowing down your computer. Along with your computer comes your phone. Do you have unnecessary apps that you no longer need? What happened to me and really helped out was the fact that I was running out of space, out of memory because of contents, pictures, um, and a lot of video, and I was forced to delete a bunch of stuff. I ended up deleting half of the apps that I had because I realized that they were actually not even bringing value to me, something that I really didn't need and that I can get away with uh, without having. To finish off your work area checklist, make sure that you stay on top of the game of your inbox. Realize that all the email and junk that you have is no longer necessary or probably never was necessary for you. Make sure to unsubscribe from anything and almost everything you don't need. This will make it much easier to check your email a couple times a day, not all the time, but a couple times a day, every single day, to make sure that it doesn't accumulate. Step number two in decluttering your surroundings is decluttering your home and your car. How much stuff do you have that is no longer necessary in your home? One way of doing this is by taking all the clothes, all the shoes, stuff that you no longer use that you can either donate or sell or even throw away. The fewer things you have, the easier it's gonna be to go into your closet and change every morning, which is gonna allow you to have more time to do the things that you got to do. Stay on top of your cleaning game at home. It's gonna make it much easier on a daily basis to accumulate. Think about not showering for a whole week, how bad you're gonna smell or how disgusting you're gonna feel. Same thing with your home. It shouldn't just be clean maybe once a week. It should be done at least every other day. If you can do every single day, 15 minutes, that's gonna be the biggest difference for you. Now, along with your home comes your car. How much stuff do you have in your car? How simple does your car look? This doesn't mean that it has to be washed and vacuum every single day, but it does mean that you don't have water bottles laying around. You don't have clothes and shoes lying around all the time. You might have something in your trunk organized. Me, for uh, as being a coach, for example, I always have an extra pair of shoes and I always have an extra pair of clothes in the back neatly put. I also have uh, lawn chairs that we can use for our soccer games, for parents, anybody that needs that kind of stuff, but you got to keep it organized. It can't just be all over the place. All in all, keeping your home and your car clean is going to reduce a lot of stress levels on you and it's going to allow you to do more of the things that you need to do that you want to do. Last but not least, the most important is decluttering your life. 
How many friendships, how many people that you know are weighing you down instead of pulling you up? Let's be honest. Not only are those people cluttering your life and pulling you down, but they're stressing you over hearing their problems and making your life seem like it's not worth it. I've said this before and I'll say it again. There are people that you can hang around with for minutes, but not hours. There are people that you can hang around for hours, but not days. There are people that you can hang around for days, but not weeks, months, and years. Choose your friendships. Okay, so we started reducing some of those friendships. What's next? So we started labeling people in level of importance. Now, also one of the main things that distract, distract us and, de uh, and clutter our lives on a daily basis are our phones. I am all for valuable information, looking up when you need to, and I'm all for that leisure time as well, at least one, maybe two hours on a daily basis. But it's not throughout the entire day. There are statistics about how many times the human being picks up their phone and checks notifications on a constant basis. Don't let that be you. Have a specific time for your phone. Have a specific time for that leisure time, for your YouTube binge, for your Netflix binge, but it can't be throughout the entire day. You're gonna get distracted, you're gonna get stressed, and you're gonna waste time on the things that you need to get done. For example, if you have a couple things that you need to get done, work, being with your son, your daughter, your family, friends, get that stuff done, get that work done first so that you can have more time for your friendships, for the people that are valuable in your life. How many things are distracting you from accomplishing your goals and spending time with your family? Is it your phone that you're always looking at and, and just binging when you're not supposed to when you're working? Is it friendships, people telling you to come here, let's go out when you, when you don't have time, when you don't have money? What is it? Figure out what that is for you and minimize it. I'm not saying to completely stop doing it. If you realize it's bad for you, stop doing it. Okay, but all I say is to reduce that time, okay, because other stuff, other stuff is much more valuable to you. And the solution to that is, drum roll please, staying organized. Stay organized. If you have a planner, a journal, where you're gonna write down every little thing that you have to get done, and you get that done, guess what? Now you have five hours, six hours, seven hours with your daughter to go on a little date with her for a movie. Now you have time to go play catch with your son. Now you have time to go play and kick the ball around or shoot the ball and shoot some hoops with the people that you want to do that with. Staying organized is gonna create a very powerful routine for you. You're gonna wake up, you're gonna do exactly the same little things that you have to do on a daily basis maybe almost eating the exact same things, especially if it's healthy, get that stuff done, and then you can spend time with the people that you want to be with. So let's reiterate the three steps of decluttering your surroundings. Number one was your workspace. If you keep your workspace clean, it's gonna make it much more enjoyable and easier to wake up in the morning and go work, whether your office is a work at home office or you're going to your office at a job. It makes it much easier to go and stay organized and get the stuff done that you need to get done first and foremost, okay? Number two is decluttering your home and your car. If you keep your car and your home clean on a, on a constant basis, every other, every other day, every, at least every single week, um, it's gonna be much, such a stress reliever for you and your car, knowing that your travels are much easier and you don't have to worry about bottles all the time everywhere, especially in your home too. If, if you uh, start decluttering now and take away stuff that you don't need, it's not gonna accumulate in the long run where it makes it much, much easier. Remember, it's easier to keep up than to catch up. And the third way of decluttering your surroundings is um, decluttering your life. Lose the friendships that you no longer need. Um, categorize the people of importance of how much time you should be spending with them. And that goes hand in hand with making a routine and letting go of the people that are weighing you down. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please let me know in the comments below which one of those is one of the biggest difficulties for you, but that you're gonna actually start doing more often. I don't know, decluttering your home, maybe you just got a bunch of junk in your car, maybe your workspace is just icky, ugly. 
okay? Get that stuff done. I invite you guys to click the first link below on how I've been able to create a lot more value for myself, for you guys, for the people around me, and how I've been able to organize my life and build a successful online business because of it. Also, there's other links below on more content like this. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in another future video. Thank you.